Hi everyone, this is my reading for Aquarius, Libras, and Gemini. If you're an air sign, this reading is for you. Today is July the 23rd, 2022. Let's get right into your reading and see what's coming up for you guys. First and foremost, I feel like you have a lot of offers that's going to be coming your way. It's up to you to choose wisely which ones you're going to take because just because something looks good for you does not mean that it's good for you. I also see you planting seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. I see doors and wonderful opportunity opening up. Some of you definitely could be reminiscing about the past or going down memory lane, dealing with some type of emotional situation. And with the Ten of Cups, it said there is going to be a lot of happiness in regard to some things. Emotions are going to be okay. It's okay to reminisce about the past, but you just can't stay there, so you got to come to your future. Ten of Cups is um, good things in store. You have the element of cups. Somebody's been crying here, is what I'm saying. You could be crying about money, thinking that something wasn't going to manifest for you, but I'm here to tell you that it is. All you have to do is speak it or ask for it to a spirit. This is the fire energy right here, the breath of it all. And um, the see, everything is going to work out for you. Don't really worry about it. You have the temperance card. Some you can, it means you, things are going to balance out. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you are very wise, very wise beyond your years. With this owl showing up here, you're very intuitive as well. Um, you know things before they happen. You have the justice card. There's another balancing out card. You could have a court case or something like that. But it's going to work in your favor because you have the sun card. That's the happiness card out there every day. That's right. If you reach for your happiness, you can obtain it with the element of pentacles. See there, you have a growing hand right there. Somebody's put something that puts your hands to work. You do what you need to do. That money's coming in for you. Exactly what I said with the ten of pentacles. Money all day, every day. And then you have the high priestess. Once again, follow your intuition in regard to anything that concerns you in your life. And it's going to work out for you. It's going to work in your favor. The last card that you have underneath the bottom of the deck is the world card. Get ready for some things to cycle out so some new things can begin. I'm just going to pull another one right fast because I saw it. Creativity is very high. Write your vision. Make it plain. And it can come into being. I'm Ms. Bless. If you like your own personal reading. 347-227-5723. Thank you, guys.